The Rockford Ice Hawks continue on a busy three-game and three-day weekend here tonight as they pay a visit to the Milwaukee Admirals out in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Game number two of those three games. And Joseph Zakszewski with you, joined alongside Ford Anthony Lewis. And Anthony, obviously, in the middle of a grind of a month, but ultimately the middle contest of a three-and-three, three, looking to shake off a tough loss last night to Chicago. How does this team re-rack and refocus in the locker room? Uh, yeah, we just got to put yesterday's game behind us. I mean, it obviously wasn't our best, and uh, we're going to bounce back here and hopefully get a few points. So. Now for the Ice Hogs, you were, have been a, a leading contributor in terms of point production and goal scoring here as of late. That has been something that's been a bit of a, a button pusher for interim head coach Derek King and, and what he wants to accomplish, get chances on goal and ultimately see that puck go across the goal line. What are you doing to help lead that charge? Because obviously a lot of people are, are taking more and more chances to try and get that puck into the back of the net. Uh, yeah, I think we just need to shoot the puck a little more. I mean, we don't have that many shots a game here, so uh, I think we just got to put some more pressure on the other team's goalies, and I think it'll lead to good things, even if it's just throwing the puck at his feet. So. Well, I'm glad you brought that up because the Ice Hogs looking at the overall shots for per game as well as the overall goals per game towards the bottom of the American Hockey League. Well, yourself and, and a guy like Dylan Secura and others in that locker room, they're taking a lot of chances among league leaders in shot production, but is it more selective shots that you're trying to find or ultimately just a complete green light and hoping something sticks? Uh, I mean, it, it goes both ways. I mean, sometimes you just got to throw it there and throw it at the goalie's feet, maybe get a rebound. And then sometimes you need to I mean, make another play and hit a guy on the backside. Uh, it's kind of reading, but I think if, you have, if we have nothing, throwing the puck to the net's not going to hurt right now. Uh, anything could happen. So. And in that third period last night against Chicago, even though the Ice Hawks would fall in that contest 7-2, to it seemed like that third, it was a competitive third period. You had those chances that you were looking for, so I'd imagine that was probably a big key from last night that you're looking to carry over into tonight against Milwaukee. Oh uh, Yeah, definitely. We're going to build off the third period. I think if we played all, uh, the whole game like that, it would have been a different game, but uh, we didn't, obviously. And just going into the night with that same mentality, just work and we'll be fine, I think. So taking that third period as well as taking that great start in San Antonio in the previous contest, it seems like consistency going to be the key here for the Rockford Ice Hawks. How do you find that? Is it just a shift-by-shift -shift basis or ultimately what needs to be the message in the locker room to see that constant result flowing? Oh, yeah, just sticking to our game plan. And just uh, sometimes guys get away from uh, doing what we want to do out there and it, it tends to bite us back. So uh, I think just sticking with what uh, Kinger has planned for us and I think – They'll grind teams down and we'll come out on top at the end of the day. So, And then you've had success against Milwaukee so far this year in the previous two meetings tonight, game three of 12. But you've walked away victorious in Milwaukee those two games. Anything you're looking back in video sessions or even in practice that you're discussing about what works so well in their building that you're looking to replicate? Uh, I mean, not really yet. We'll talk more about that later tonight. But uh, I think just what I said before, just sticking with uh, what our game plan is going in and try doing it the whole 60 minutes and not just 10 or 15 of them. So, um, yeah. Well, Anthony, I appreciate your time. Good luck tonight against the Admirals. Thank you. Anthony Lewis joining us here on the Rockford Ice Hogs Broadcasting Network. Ice Hogs and Milwaukee Admirals getting together tonight for the third of 12 meetings and for the Ice Hogs looking to snap a five-game winless skit. We'll be back with more puck drop right around the corner. You're listening and watching Rockford Ice Hogs Hockey on the Ice Hogs Broadcast Network.